Yes, ma'am. It is telling waiting for Dr. GM Nazira. Yes, ma'am. It is 11 seconds are left. Just hold. Yeah, yeah. Please. That's right, sir. That's yeah. right. Because it takes 30 minutes initial, 30 seconds initial. No issues. Please hold on, madam. I'll, I'll let you know. Yes, sir. Yes, you can start now. Ma'am. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, welcome again. It's a pleasure to welcome you all again. I think the live session has started now. Those who could not accommodate in this Cisco Webex meeting, maybe you can enter into the live session. Whereas we have shared the uh, today's YouTube live session link in WhatsApp and uh, in Telegram, as well as in email and as well as uh, in this Cisco web room. So very happy to say that uh, today we have a resource person, very eminent resource person, Dr. Bal Ganda Idavani, we, who has a multifaceted role as an author, a researcher, a professor in information technology. Uh, we are very happy that he is from, he is hailing from our own country. He is from India uh, with a strong background of various uh, subjects uh, as his expertise. Uh, in the field of software engineering particularly. He has worked in uh, abroad in various countries with his teaching, rich teaching experience of 25, uh, around 20 years of experience. I think he has delivered a more web webinar series. I am actually happy and proud to see his profile on the web page. Uh, I have shared that link in the video also, in the Cisco platform also. Uh, he has uh, started moving very fastly into particular with cloud and web application and he is already an expertise in Java. That's what I could feel. Uh, so with having a huge profile but a humble person who always have interest in learning and as well as in teaching. So we are happy to hear, have Dr. Baladan Daidabani here uh, as a resource person. It's uh, my pleasure on behalf of Chikana Government Arts College to thank everybody. I mean, to thank everybody and to thank our principal who has given us permission to organize such kind of program. Uh, so to tell about him again, the, the main uh, uh, what achievement, what we could find is he has given various technical talks and he has been, he is as a reviewer in various journals and conferences. So with this, I would like to conclude. I once again, I welcome all the participants, the professors and the associate professors, assistant professors, research scholars and my dear students. And once again, I thank my organization and my principal, Dr. C.B. Deepa, who has given us an opportunity. Now, uh, I would like to hand over this session to the resource person, Dr. Bala Dandai Dhamani B, uh, who will take care of the session topic today. Thank you so much. Sir, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Is my voice audible, ma'am? It's audible, yeah. sir. Your voice is very yes. much audible. Yeah. And yes, your Thank video, you. uh, you video, uh, one minute, sir. Yeah. And we are getting the slides very well. Yeah. Thank yes, you. Ma yes, ma'am. Good morning, one and all present here. I'm very much happy to be with you today for this webinar on Amazon Web Services with the Elastic Cloud Compute and uh, Simple Storage Services 3. 
I would like to thank Dr. Najib Nasira for giving me this opportunity. I'm going to bring some exciting information on uh, web services, and especially we are going to focus today on Amazon. I hope it will be beneficial to you. Let me begin. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, what are the prerequisites to go or uh, have this webinar? Basically, we need to have a, a basics of computer skills that everyone have, like uh, knowing operating systems, storage, applications, database, and networking. So these are basic skills what we are uh, working in the local computer. Uh, the same skill is expected to be uh, uh, used in the cloud. So it's very easy, you need not to worry about anything. And uh, moreover, uh, there are many cloud vendors, and uh, we are going to focus on Amazon today. Okay, and uh, uh, if you have an account already, may have, somebody may have an experience, no worries, we can also uh, have some extra knowledge. Or if you don't have an uh, uh, account there already, I will focus today how to work with uh, Amazon Web Service. And uh, what you need as a software is simply any browser or uh, uh, with the latest version. I am going to use Chrome. Uh, let us go to the objective of the webinar. What is the aim of this uh, particular? Okay, we are going to look at how to work with the Amazon Web Service, especially with uh, EC Cloud, uh, Elastic Cloud Compute, that is uh, EC2, Simple uh, Storage Service, S3. These two aspects we are going to focus. That's why we titled, we entitled with the AWS EC2 and S3. At the end of the uh, webinar, uh, you will be understanding of what is the basics of uh, cloud computing. So we should also focus on somebody may not be knowing what is uh, cloud computing. That also I will give a glance in, uh, before going to uh, Amazon Web Services. And you will get to understand about uh, Amazon, what Amazon offers, Amazon uh, cloud computing. Uh, I will just explore about that. Uh, later, uh, we will focus on the EC2 and S3. So according to this perspective, I have outlined uh, the uh, webinar or uh, the outcome of the webinar uh, will begin with getting started cloud computing. So for what's a cloud com computing, I will just give a point and immediately you can understand. And I will uh, focus what is Amazon Web Services offers in the cloud infrastructure. There's an echo. Creating an account entire. How, how do we going to create an account? What is the procedure? I will focus on that one. And later, the fourth and fifth point fully focus on the practical part or, or the demonstration part. I will show you how to work with the Elastic Cloud Compute. Yeah, shortly, we used to say EC2. So in the EC2 especially, uh, there are many things actually in the EC2 we can do. Uh, but I'm going to focus today how to work with the Windows instance. And within the Windows instance, how you are going to uh, prepare internet information service or uh, web server. We are going to focus the two points here. And in the simple storage service, how are we going to prepare the object buckets and how it is uh, going to be managed? Those perspectives we are going to discuss. So uh, our first topic is uh, getting started with the cloud computing. So what's a cloud computing first? Okay. Cloud computing means, as I already told, as a prerequisite, just we need a computer language that's all the same knowledge we are going to put it in the cloud. So it's on demand compute, computing platform. What we require is what we are doing here in the local computer, we are going to take or use it in the uh, uh, remote uh, computer. The remote computer we previously we called as a cluster, create so many names, and now recently they come to say as uh, cloud computing. And uh, what is the uh, cloud computing provides? It's going to provide and demand computing or IT resources for whom? For the individual like you and me or the companies or to any governments. How they are going to offer me pay as you go pricing. Pay as you go in a sense, uh, they provide many services in which how much are we going to use? I may be using uh, my organization or my own individual expectation is very less. And the other people may be using more than that. It's based on the use you are supposed to pay. So this is what, uh, this is a common term. Per pay as you go is a common term in the uh, cloud computing. Okay, every uh, cloud provider are saying the same, pay as you go. So whatsoever that we are using, 
we are supposed to pay under today's session what i will focus is we are not ready I'm actually as you like what i am thinking the same thing you may have you may have the same uh, uh, idea or not uh, think what i feel is uh, we are, we are all the cloud practitioner okay just uh, we will practice we will share the knowledge if possible we will go for uh, find uh, if, uh, your students are there they will focus on finding jobs so it's our aim uh, for that how do we going to work with the um, cloud so in that situation um, i'm uh, going to show the free uh, services that is provided by uh, amazon web service and the cloud what are the things that is focused cloud services focusing cloud instances storages and database so not only from this also there are network services and other uh, services uh, majorly cloud instance is uh, important uh, then storage and database these three are the uh, significant um, uh, service that is provided by most of the cloud provider okay so you need instance only we can go to go and get the instance or storage or database so whatever that you want as you need the cloud provider will provide you uh, it is uh, this is why they say on demand i demand for this i need for this i will go for this okay this is provided by many cloud provider okay for example oracle so google cloud provider ibm amazon web service today what we are going to see not only this but there are so many uh, provider uh, providing the cloud and uh, i am just uh, focus here the leading are the famous uh, cloud providers uh, now what is this amazon web uh, web uh, services aws amazon web services nothing but it is uh, controlled by amazon okay amazon already we know a to z providing a to z so it's a subsidized uh, pro, uh, project under the amazon uh, group only uh, they newly named as amazon web services because it, they are providing services uh, the provides through the web so they used to say is common term web services means some services that is provided through web we used to say web services uh, since amazon is provide so it's amazon web services nothing to worry here so what for what is the use case so what for we are going to be a cloud what is what is the aim so use case i give here you will understand i want to have a data backup so if you want to have a data backup i have something in my laptop or in my personal desktop what will happen something if any disaster uh, some problem happen some uh, fire or some incident is not expected or unexpected even happen we store our data important data like uh, scanned a certificate or anything uh, the backup is already in the cloud or in a drive one drive like one drive is also a cloud one drive um, uh, uh google drive they are all uh, drive again data backup not only for uh, particular any important document anything that you want to take a backup uh, we, we can use this one so this what i put any disaster even uh, uh, you want to recover in that moment you can uh, use this one and uh, email it is not for individual it is actually individual we are using the services provided by uh, groups we, we are just user end user only and we are not going to create any user for us it is more or suitable for any organization or the industries and uh, we can create uh, uh, and work with the virtual uh, desktop the virtual desktop in a sense you are working in your local the same way you can uh, work with a remote operating system and you can do anything everything like installing software into having uh, different servers and accessing to the file system uh, so the, those, those things of course we are going to focus here we will do it and any software development and testing as you are developing your software in your local computer similarly we can also focus and work with the remote computer moreover this is suitable uh, uh, where um, a group of people working together and they are going home uh, they can also resume their work It's especially suitable uh, for any software industry people or in uh, those who are involved in software development and uh, it is also providing big data analytics so all uh, data science machine learning uh, deep learning everything is incorporated here and if you want to focus and work with the web application uh, that is also provided so uh, we have different scenario so if you are from the company we can also recommend company these services are there they can use it as an individual what we are going to do what are the use cases available for us we will use it for example people are nowadays to, uh, turning towards to big data analytics so they can uh, come to learn from this and some of them more moreover without knowing the cloud only they are working in the uh, local system with the uh, excel sheets uh, what whenever they are taking data they are showing excel sheet because they don't have knowledge about cloud cloud provides a big data without that they are simply opening yeah so cloud is expected nowadays it's important without a cloud you know in future you know it's sometimes very difficult to live like the situation backup this my guessing i'm sorry 
So now go to the um, benefits of the cloud. Agility is the first factor because agility provides faster and built uh, uh, near your work. I mean, within short of at the maximum within two weeks, it has to be completed. So that's agility that is there. Anything you want immediately, you can accomplish the job in cloud. Elasticity, it's nothing but a scale up or down your resources. What you what we are using is basically we have a limit. I want to extend my resource. I want to increase my CPU power. I want to increase my storage power. So you can increase, increasing in a sense scale up. You are using already, your organization is big already, but now you are uh, due to some uh, reason, uh, we have uh, reduced employees or reduced some uh, units, so we can reduce the uh, resources available. As we are going to use, we can also, as I'm going to establish a small scale in, uh, um, uh, industry or large scale, it's based on that. Some situations are uh, there. Uh, so elasticity is provided, which incorporates immediately to uh, extend or uh, sink our uh, resources. Cost saving. Cost saving major factor is only uh, is for the pay, uh, paid membership, not for us. I am focusing on utilize the free cloud infrastructures. So, of course, I'm also going to use that one. I'm not recommending anyone to go. I will tell some uh, situations are there. We have to be very clever and act. Okay. So, payment uh, is based on the usage. The what we consume, we are going to use. This is the cloud provider's uh, what you call point. And uh, deploy globally in a minute. In a minute, when whatever that you are having, uh, there are many regions uh, geographically located uh, for every cloud provider. So uh, if you are working with one cl cloud provider from one cloud region to another cloud region within a fraction of a minute or within a couple of minutes, we can transfer all of our uh, data to other cloud, other uh, regions. So our data is uh, going to be safe, okay, if we are going to keep our data in different regions. I'll show you about this and we will, we will discuss about this part. And uh, it is expected to keep all of our data very close or proximity. Proximity means uh, if I am living in Oman, which location is, uh, uh, which region is very closer to me. So in order to, why we are going to keep is, in order to reduce the latency. Latency in a sense, when I browse, the speed should be more. Speed is more in a sense, the, the data that I should re reach to my laptop or to my computer should be quick. So it should provide low latency. If it is low latency, me, it's perfect. Performance is better. Moreover, it is recommended to have our cloud immediate access uh, nearer to our closer proximity, very, which, which region is very closer to us, we are going to uh, establish there. Of course, we can also use any region. We will discuss about this in the further slides. And now, before going to the uh, deep discussion, I'll just focus on what is a cloud computing model. Uh, basically, fall on three categories. That is infrastructure as service, platform as service, software as service, these three categories only. Uh, and uh, these uh, categories, uh, uh, I'm, I'm discussing about the public cloud. Uh, when you do look at the cloud uh, again, um, there are uh, private and hybrid also there. Private is used for any data center in the uh, individual organization. Within the organization, they will use. And we are going, we are the public and we want to access the cloud in public. So I'm discussing here today is public cloud. And of course, there are uh, uh, hybrid cloud. I mean, it is not some part of public is major, some part of private is also major. That is uh, hybrid cloud. Okay, now we are discussing about, keep in mind, we are discussing about uh, public cloud only. What is the model? Infrastructure as service, platform as service, uh, support as service. You should have a clari clarity here. What we are going to do? What is this model actually? Now, let me say what is this infrastructure as model. Infrastructure as model, in any model, uh, just understand the entity what is presence. From the bottom, we have networking from the from the top. On top of that, we have an application which is appear to us. For example, you are browsing something. That is in our application. But the, the web application is in front. And we don't know what is behind. The networking is behind us. Okay. And the data, what we are entering. Uh, what we are entering in the application is our data. So, which has a runtime inside. Maybe having a... A middleware software and it is of course tied with the operating system so this is a layer then it may in the cloud part we have a virtualization and it has server it has storage it has network so all this includes in the infrastructure in any infrastructure now focus on what is the uh, infrastructure as service okay so networking storage server virtualization these four points uh, are going to be managed or maintained by the cloud provider or the vendor okay 
operating system, middleware, runtime, data, and uh, application. These are all going to be maintained by the customer like you and me or the client, I can say. So client or the customer are you and me or the companies. Okay. So why they are going to do? Because they want to establish their operating system. So what is provided already? Networking provider, storage provider, service provider, virtualization provider. This is already provided to you. And as a customer or the client, what we are going to do is we will install the operating system that you want. Okay, I'm going to install my operating system. Okay, we know how to work with our installing operating system already. We install the operating system. What we will do next, whatever the software we need, we will install it again inside in that. Okay, for example, after installing the operating system, I need a web server, I will install it. I need a file server, I, I will install it. I will go for mail server, I will go for a DNS, I will go for directory access. So what server that you want as a server, you will install it, okay, in the uh, um, uh, application side. Okay, you need a, um, a database software, maybe MySQL, MS SQL, or uh, Oracle, or any database you want, we will install it. Any other application you want, yes, we are installing. So this is what I said, whatever that we do here in the local, we are going to do it in remote okay so that feature is provided from operating system to the application everything is in your hand so we are going to choose our uh, operating system we are going to choose our application we are going to install it and we will be accessible wherever we go so wherever we go we can access it we configure our system it is given to you this is our on demand my demand is i'm going to work with this so we know uh, what we expect Okay, it's based on the scenario of the use case that we have, okay? So infrastructure means we are starting from operating system to um, um, application level, okay? Up to that we are having. Now coming to the uh, platform. Platform means up to the runtime they provided. Now starting from the networking, up to the runtime they provided. What we are going to do? Only do application and data. Mean, I can give good example. Uh, database. Take, for example, in um, Amazon, we have DynamoDB, we have RDS, we have uh, some other database. So let me say, it, uh, take any other sub, uh, platform or any other software like Oracle or any other software like MySQL or MS SQL. Assume that it is already installed, it is running there, and we are only going to access to that application and we are going to feed the data. That's all. Okay. So, application is provided up to the runtime environment is provided. And up to runtime is given already and remaining only we are going to work with the application and we are going to feed the data. In certain situation, the platform is uh, the service is called platform as service. And the last category is service uh, software as service. Let me give uh, example uh, before example. You see here, all are going to be maintained by the cloud provider from the application to the networking. Everything is going to be maintained by the uh, cloud provider or the vendor. Okay. So example I can give, for example, email system. So email, everything is provided. We have an account, just we are uh, logging to our system. Uh, let's take, for example, MS Office uh, product like uh, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and so. So all these software already provided, and we are opening the Microsoft code, and we are typing, and we are saving our document. So everything is provided. Software as service. The entire software is provided to you. That's how in that software we are working. That's all. So like, for example, nowadays, a blackboard, whiteboard, whatever the board they are giving, everything is. You can save it, you can work on it. So, the entire software is given. We are not worrying about any uh, architecture until what is happened. For example, let's take today OneDrive or uh, Google Drive. Okay? Again, it is a software as service. We, we don't know anything what is what is inside, and, but we are using it. We are saving our document. We are accessible to that one. So these are all uh, software as service, but the other two cases you should have some knowledge, uh, especially infrastructure as service, you should have a knowledge and you have to know which operating system you are going to work, you have to install it. So it's something technical, I will show you, don't worry. So um, what my presentation today is going to focus, um, working with the infrastructure, I will show you EC2, Elastic Cloud Compute, EC2, okay. So we are going to work with the infrastructure as service. And, uh, um, application, I mean uh, S3, it's actually a uh, runtime, just we are going to prepare the bucket and we are going to deal with the bucket. I can say S3 is a, a platform as service. Okay, uh, with this uh, knowledge, I guess I can, uh, I, I, I could make you better understanding of what is cloud computing. Okay, let me have a water. Now we go to the second part of our um, webinar. 
So AWS uh, cloud infrastructures. Now you you already have an idea. What is the cloud infrastructure? Uh, what is the cloud cloud computing? What we are going to do there? And now we should. Uh, every cloud provider has their own uh, uh, model or the infrastructures. We have the title with Amazon Web Services. So now what AWS infrastructure has? So they have global cloud infrastructures. They have clo everyone is actually global or international. It's their name they give. Okay, don't worry about anything. Everything is simple. Only we hear something as new that will be uh, make clear for us. Once you are knowing that, then no fearness. Okay, nothing. You, you can feel free, relax. Okay. Now, this, after looking at this figure, you will be getting oh, what is this? Now I'll just go. You will be understanding. Okay. Global infrastructure. You see my cursor. I put here pen. Uh, global infrastructure which has the region. So the entire global they divide it into regions. Okay, they they have twenty four regions. It's based on the cloud provider. They have different region. Number varies every by every year. After two years, they may have more regions. Okay, at present twenty four, and they are planning to another three. I will focus next slides. The further slides. Okay, so regions are divided. The global uh, area is divided. Okay, in that they are going to have availability zone. Availability zone in a sense, it is the actual infrastructures. It is the actual infrastructure. What is provided there? All servers, all the system infrastructure, everything is available here. That is called availability zone, which is called as A Z. A Z as shortly sometimes they say availability zone. Okay, this availability zone is going to be given to the edge location. Edge location nothing but the end user computing where we are accessing. I am going to access from my laptop or from my desktop is the end location. So end edge location is nothing but the end user. Are the companies anyone who access to the zone? Okay, so this is the infrastructure. Now let's go to the next one. There are many security part. There are development administration part. There are storage part. There are networking part, computing part. You see the title here: application service. This is platform service, database service, analytical service. And you see the left side. They put here foundation service, and this is application service. Okay, now what we are going to do with this service? We have region, we have uh, available uh, zone, and we are the end uh, edge location. We are in the edge location. We need an administration part to support. So develop uh, deploy. Uh, what is the deployment admi administration area? This deployment administration area, uh, of course, everyone have to use uh, AWS console. So of course, we are also going to use the console. Without console, we cannot go there inside. So console is needed for our deployment and management of our cloud. And if any other service is needed, we can also use. This is your further study. I am giving just a startup. Okay. Once you are knowing that, you can. You in another couple of year, you will be better than me, I guess. Okay. So uh, next thing is security. What is the security provided by uh, the infrastructures? I am going to focus encrypt and key management. Of course, there are many models. For example, I am service identity access management. Shortly, they used to say I am service. Uh, there are so many. Okay, what are the services you are using? You are going to use. Okay, you can uh, prepare a new work. And without uh, this one today, we, I cannot finish. So I will be using this area. And uh, the topic we have given is S3. So it's here storage. When you look at the storage, there are so many storage aspects. In S3 itself, again, there are uh, categories. In S3 itself, there are uh, again they say class year version, extended version, so many things are there. Uh, I will show you. Okay, so S3 is here. It's one of the storage uh, uh, area. Now, the other side, networking. We are not going to test anything here. Okay, networking, whatever that is defaultly provided by the cloud, we are going to follow it. And compute service. In the compute, you see we have EC2. We are going to focus here. The EC2 by default there is a uh, elastic IP. Auto scaling, I am service. Don't worry about anything. Just it, it's going to be managed by default by the Amazon. We will be directly working with the EC2. If we want to configure, we can go and configure. That's another matter. Without any pain, I will show you very simply. We can work. Okay. Next, there is a Lambda event trigger. So Lambda event trigger means something that you want to execute without server. This is called serverless computing. So this is another uh, uh, trendy today. 
uh, the thing is uh, server uh, the topic is serverless uh, computing serverless in order to execute the serverless computing we can go with the lambda in amazon so if you go to another uh, provider they will say different name they will say directly a serverless computing uh, maybe say in another name so name is yeah, i'm called bala you called your name so we are all human that's all so uh, this is going to be do the serverless computing remember okay we have application services there are uh, services if you want you can access i am not going to focus here and you can see uh, database services it's also not our part so ec2 s3 uh, key management console this is our part though i will focus the other side for your further uh, follow up we have dynamo db dynamo db is no sql database okay this is actually free in the you can see i will show you what are the products free how to find the free products okay everything i will show this is for uh, no sql red shift dw this is for data or warehouse red hat uh, linux corporation provided uh, most of the products uh, uh, from other third parties also merge here it is not all their own product in the aws okay remember that one uh, this is for RDB, rdbms relational database this is elastic case in, in memory database model so you know today trend is uh, what do you call uh, data science big data analytics and dealing with the uh, big data yeah? big uh, big data how to all these things we have different data model so they focus not only this uh, they brought they gave here few only because uh, you know uh, everything cannot be put in one uh, diagram few they put here famous one okay so <clears throat> next to that we have analytics here you see analytics uh, hadoop hadoop is there uh, mobile analytics is there ncs is there uh, pipeline data pipeline and so many uh, analytics software and big data related data science related on it even nowadays everyone talk about data science big data and uh, those things can be accomplished only through the cloud and all people are now what they are doing using uh, excel sheet and testing as what we are we are doing in excel only excel itself we are accomplishing that what we are going to do in the other things we need a cloud so cloud is important today to uh, uh, go for further it's important yeah so that's why we are here today and uh, programming languages supported are the platform supported here uh, java python php .NET, ruby uh, node js ios android platform all these are going to be supported if you are familiar with this platform we can go and another information is uh, the library what we use normally in java uh, i'm actually very good with the I just know a few things about Java. Uh, um, what is given there, what we know already may not be sufficient. Again, what library is provided by AWS, we have to follow them because, because they have API application library interface. Uh, we have to download and we have to use for uh, connecting and working with. And of course, there are something that you already know with that, you can also make it. Okay. So, this is all about uh, cloud infrastructures. Okay, now going to the global network. Uh, it's about uh, regions. Okay, so regions are multiple zones connected, low latency, high throughput. So many regions are there. All are connected. Multiple zones are there. Not only single zone. One region may have many availability zone. So it's called AIZ. Many availability zone. Oh, for example, we have college. Many buildings are there. Our college is our region, and we have many buildings. All are our zones. Okay, our zone can be one department, the other zone is another department like that. So, availability zone have many in one region. So, it is not about single zone in single region. So, one region may have many or multiple available zone. What for we are connecting with is to provide low latency. Why they are going to increase uh, many number of region around in around the world is to provide. Uh, uh, low latency. Low latency in a sense, when we browse the data, the data should come to us immediately. And the high throughput, high throughput is high availability or high throughput is to focus on the disaster recovery. For example, uh, it can be something happened. So I can take it from uh, cloud, okay, from one region. For example, I have many regions, okay, well, from one region or something happened, I can take it from another region. I will show you the graph, you will understand. So basically, um, uh, Amazon have 24 uh, uh, region already established and presently they are focusing on establishing three more region in uh, Indonesia, Japan, Spain. It is their uh, matter just for your knowledge I'm saying. And availability zone 76 are available in the 24 uh, region. Uh, presently, 
uh, if you are looking at next month, we don't know. I am telling the present what is provided in the website. Okay, moreover, I referred uh, Amazon website to provide all this. I tried to find some books. Uh, they are paid actually. Okay, so we can find all the information in their document itself. Don't worry about that one. So, 76 zone at, at presently available, 24 geographical location, and they are planning for three more uh, regions. And in this, what they are doing is. 74 fully featured service they are providing and we are going to focus on two okay that is ec2 s3 and all only two 75 fully featured services they are providing oh how we are going to learn none of them is familiar are going to be familiar in all the 175 features i'm re really sure okay i'm really sure we cannot be well versed in all 175 no one can be and what we what 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 is the thing that we are going to do? Please understand clearly what you need. You are going to use. We are going to thorough, and we are going to be perfect with our work. I am going to do this. It's my scenario. It's my use case. I will use that. This is my expectation. I'm going to do this. Oh, what service is provided by now? I'm going to search uh, among these 175. Oh, this is the service provider related to my expectation, my use case, my scenario. Okay, I will choose this then. This is the thing that we are going to work. But don't worry. Don't be scared about 100 service. Let them offer 1,000 service. Don't worry. Let them offer 1,000 million. No worry about what I need. I'm going to use it. Okay. We are going to uh, take a food in buffet. We cannot take all the food and taste. Okay. <laughs> Whichever that we like, we will take. Similarly, we are going to use which we like, which is uh, suitable to us. Okay. Now look at the region. This is a graph, for example, I bring here. The blue color are the already established uh, regions, and the red color one uh, is planned to have three here and here, Italy, somewhere, whatever, wherever I said here. Uh, Spain, Spain, Japan, and uh, Indonesia. You see here near to Spain, uh, this is where near to Indonesia, here is in Japan. Japan already they have one, one more they have established. Okay. So I go, I hope you might understand about, okay, now I come to another one issue in India, there is one. Of course, I'm going to use Indian, uh, uh, what do you call, cloud today. I'm going to access it in uh, Mumbai. Okay, from Oman, I'm going to access Mumbai. Okay, of course, uh, you're uh, allowed to access any cloud around the world. That's another issue. I'm, I'm uh, here in Oman and I'm going to use uh, uh, Mumbai. It's very, really interesting and uh, exciting. Okay, what is the benefit? Why I'm going? So we should have a clear understanding about why I am doing this. What is the benefit I will get? See, it's moreover uh, common to all the platform or all providers. Here are also the same. So AWS providing 24 by 7 help. Anytime in midnight you are uh, thinking something and you want to get some clarity, just so you can chat with them. Immediately they will uh, give uh, idea or they will try to solve the problem. So 24 by 7 help desk is there. It's for almost all uh, provider. Well, Amazon is also doing. And uh, security is provided by CIA. If CIA is very common in any security. If take database security, uh, disk, uh, computer security, any security, CIA is a common parameter. Well, uh, cloud is also following. What is CIA? Confidentiality, integrity, availability. This is what I shown in this. These three are data integrity in database based studies. Same thing in uh, cloud also they are going to do. So confidentiality, keeping authorized person to access the data. Integrity, providing the correct right information, not falsifying. Availability, available by 24 by 7. Anytime, anytime, anywhere you are uh, accessing. Anytime, any mean. From laptop, from mobile, or uh, from any devices. Anywhere in the world, anytime in the uh, 24 hours. Okay. So this is uh, very common in all. And all the data automatically encrypted in the physical layer. When you are going to put something in the cloud, automatically they take it, they store uh, as an encrypted uh, document. So no one, if anyone even try to attack, they may not uh, take the original data. So this is the security perspective uh, the Amazon provides. Now coming to the availability. So availability in a sense in any region, they are provided uh, multiple uh, available zone. Oh, of course, availability one region is uh, isolated from another region. Or, uh, one infrastructure is uh, within the building or uh, within an organization. We have different buildings. So one, av one uh, available zone in one building, another available zone in another building. All these together as one region they may consider. And performance, 
every time focus on low latency i already discussed about this and also uh, providing uh, high network quality network quality aspects uh, there are two one is their network in their cloud side and our network from our side okay their network in the sense they are providing very fast and we are using uh, low bandwidth connection and our, our internet connection is low mean it call on uh, bottleneck problem bottle size is bigger but uh, the neck is small what what for example take the water bottle we have plenty of uh, liter of water inside when we turn uh, turn around that what will happen bit water uh, based on the neck only the water will come so we should not complain on the network aspect anymore so it's our fault our side their network they what they say is perfect flexibility you can uh, use any available region with any available zone there is a flexibility here i want to use uh, different region okay you can use it i want to use different uh, zone yes of course you can use it so these are the benefit of uh, amazon service now i will go to the third part demonstration is begin from k we have water so <clears throat> how am i going to create my account of course we have account uh, uh, in many websites okay when you go to work with the website we have we are creating our account username password uh, so and so and we are created and here also you are going to do the same and uh, that's the different service is offered through the website okay the services are going to be offered cloud computing services are going to be offered through the website so website is a user interface which interacts you and uh, the uh, cloud so it's not like creating an account uh, uh, as like other uh, site so creating an account in uh, uh, any cloud provider or cl cl um, what do you call the site is different okay it's very simple we can create it but working with the cloud you will really feel everything real okay because we are going to our uh, server is going to be established remotely our data is going to place remotely and we are uh, accessible to that data okay now coming to the creating account what i am advising aw provides uh, this uh, amazon web services uh, provides free tier okay we are going to use it Every, of course, every uh, providers are having free tier uh, things. We can, of course, we, uh, by self interest, self motivation, we can also go and try the other. But be careful, and we should know some basic things. I, I will clarify that one. Okay, this free will support for twelve months. Twelve month access they are giving free. And how do I find? I will show you. I will log into that. Uh, including EC2, S3, and uh, for example, Dynamo already. Uh, so, so there are so many services. The services nothing but your instance, your data storage, your database. This is what we are going to access. All this we are going to access. I want all this. Okay, we can go and create and use. Okay, we are going to be provide some detail like email, password, uh, confirm password, and what is the account name you want? The cloud name in the cloud account. Through this account only we are going to log in. Okay, and once you are going to give this important, it will ask you to confirm your phone number. I cannot do now actually. I have already <laughs> logged on. Okay, so you just uh, ask to uh, verify the phone number. Once you verify it, next thing is it will ask you credit card. Okay, don't be scared about. I will tell you everything clearly. It will ask you to confirm your credit card. Now we are supposed to verify our credit card because in order to verify your address, in order to verify your address, you have to after verification of your phone number, we have to give our credit card detail. They will ask, and once the credit card de detail is given, and uh, uh, it will ask you to give the um, what do you call the secret code, no? After entering the secret code, they will deduct one dollar or euro. it shows you will receive a message that $1 or euro is deducted it is not deducted they will say before even you go to proceed they will say we will not deduct your money it is for reservation 
Okay, so it is a reservation money. They will keep for 48 hours at the maximum. Even you, your balance will not be reduced. And within 48 hours, you, the address will be valid. Your data will be valid, and uh, everything is settled down. In previous to that, you will be provided permission to access the cloud. Okay. So uh, immediately after you submit, you will receive the email. Once you receive the email, you can log into the system. And uh, it is their duty to verify our uh, credit card and they, uh, they do the back backup. What is the thing? Why they are doing this? Not only this uh, Amazon, every cloud provider basically expected uh, to verify the um, uh, credit card. Why mean? Some of the, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, cloud uh, uh, clients, okay, customers, uh, may unknowingly or knownly uh, utilize some uh, heavy things heavy equipment they use the heavy equipment powerful machines powerful machine mean automatically cast lower under person mean less okay they use the everything unknownly or knownly but what will happen it generates bill automatically it is automatically generated not by human okay so if it is if uh, bill generated mean who will pay for, the, for that reason they are asking to verify so this is why i'm saying we have to be very Clear, we are free tire user. We are going to practice, uh, practice by free tire and we will understand. Without that understanding, also mm -hmm. everybody is saying Amazon Cloud, we will fear. They say Oracle Cloud, okay, we fear. So we have to go and see inside. It is there and dash. Nothing. Just we are going to give the credit card. Oh, how do I give my credit card? They will take my money. They will not take their organization. We are all, after all, nothing for them. Okay, they are uh, multinational companies. Okay. Our one dollar is not a matter, even they take no worries. But <laughs> they will not take, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So account will be settled down. Okay. So they will not take the money. Be clear with that one. <laughs> I want to stress that one. Okay, once you are going to access the pre-tire or the tire types are given in the area. Feature type, 12 month free, always free, trial and there are uh, option given. We will see that one. And I am suggesting, advising you to use uh, this 12 month free or always free. 12 month free or always free. It is already free. They are saying you can use it. Yes, of course, I will use it. So from this two point, we can go and practice. Without practicing, you cannot do anything. Yes, I can drive the car. Yeah. Yes, of course, I drive the car. Why not I drive the big truck? Why not I drive the aeroplane? I can say by word, but after all, I drive only, I can feel that one. Okay, we need an experience. Okay, so to take experience, we have to go inside to look into. Otherwise, by talking only, nothing will happen. Okay, otherwise, we will get scared by ourselves. We will be depressed. Everybody, anyone talking about cloud computing. No, you know cloud computing. Nothing is nothing. It's all about your understanding. Okay. Now, I'll go. Yeah, first of all, I will go to uh, <coughs> browser. I have already logged on. Let me start from the beginning. Okay, you are going to type uh, what you are going to type. Okay, so you are going to type, we take uh, notepad in order to increase the pound volume coming here. Because the address bar cannot be enlarged uh, for that reason. Okay. You are going to type uh, Amazon, AWS, Amazon Web Services dot Amazon dot com. Okay, you are going to type this one. We are receiving a website. Okay, we are received this website. Once you received this website, you have to be familiar with the where things are around. Okay, where things are around. You are going to other neighbor's house. We don't know where things are, where the bathroom available, where is the bedroom, where is the uh, hall, and things where uh, dressing rooms are available. So like that, 
uh, we are new to this uh, uh, cloud okay where things are around in around so i have to look out first of all i have to explore it okay so this is the area where i am going to look it so you can see here account related in the top there is a orange always they say about orange button sign into console okay sign into console in the uh, top right corner you can see account related you can see if you want to change language you can see change even i really wonderful with the uh, amazon yesterday had uh, online submit uh, when they present the uh, webinar they have six languages really uh, you can choose your language you want italian you want the uh, french language uh, you want english yes they are also provided so more, more over uh, all website services are provided you want any support services you want to contact your sales of course i don't want to go there uh, we can see here the products okay all the products are there many products are there you are going to look into all it will uh, take one day or two days we cannot come out of this cloud okay uh, okay let me go for uh, free after typing this what you are going to do say free to look into free okay i am going to type slash free Hi, ah, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Yes, ah, ma'am. Yes, very good. Going. Yeah. Okay. Clear, right? Clear, very clear, sir. Going on. Okay. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Oh, yes. yes. Now, after typing this uh, free, okay, you will find this one. Okay. AWS free tier. Create an account. And that too big. Okay. Now you see here, there is a button to create new account. Here is the one you are going to create your account. Click here, and what I shown in the slide uh, will come here. Yeah, your email, okay, your password, and you proceed. They will ask the uh, uh, phone number where they verify. Then your credit card. Once it is over, you will receive. Uh, email in the what is the what is the email that you provided? From that they will give a login. Okay, so now I am not going to do this one because uh, again uh, the same phone number <laughs> is going to be given, and uh, uh, anyhow I don't know how they are going to treat. Okay, I hope you can understand about that part. Now you should understand about the free products. As I said, always free. 12 month free trial and done they have given like this because we are in the free, free area okay how do i see all the free item you can see here you see there is a filter here and we can see all the product categories which one you want i am uh, an, an analytics i'm going to do analytic category i'm a data scientist or uh, someone okay so, um, uh, the based on the usage i'm going to say i'm Going to use database. I'm going to use compute. I'm going to use uh, developer tool. So whichever that you want, you are going to choose. Okay, you are going to use a filter. So always free, twelve month free, like that. Okay. So this is an idea. You are going to see everything. This one point. Another, if you want to know uh, uh, any product detail, for example, if I'm going to use a product, you can click on the product. You can choose the product here, either by use case, or by industry, or by organization type. Okay. So. Different categories are present to choose, to find, to identify uh, the the services provided by AWS. Okay. Now, pricing related and all provided. Everything is there. You want to learn documentation is provided, and don't uh, fastly work here. Okay. This is my advice because some some area they are charging. So be aware about before you click. Because other sites, uh, they will. Uh, I observe that uh, comparing with other platform, even they will inform that this is a paid service, this is a free service. Okay, the service we have to understand which is free, which is uh, um, paid. Okay, even the documentation part, some training and all they are provided uh, as like other cloud only. But understand this is free or uh, paid. Okay. So also other details like uh, partners, uh, so some other details are there. You can have a uh, explore. So mainly, if you want to focus on particular service, okay, come to again. 
short way for example if i am going to work with the s3 i put s3 okay or you can also from here you can take it from the product no worries okay you can also find from products from where s3 is there it is a storage you have to remember storage related is there yeah there is a storage here uh, then where is the s3 s3 is here okay so you can uh, find your surveys details it's important before you go on work i am trying to give as my level best to make you understand in s3 and as well as uh, ec2 today see for example s3 overview the features the storage classes the pricing security resource and any questions related okay so when you are going to this importantly in uh, storage itself i already said there are different versions okay you see there is a standard intelligent they will shoot anything any name is given but what is storage storage is something going to store and we are what purpose we are going to retrieve it that's the story that we this we do from the beginning when we start using computer we are storing something and we are retrieving same thing s3 itself standard intelligent they give glacier so many names don't worry about all this name this is uh, nothing but uh, product uh, uh, what do you call uh, marketing something they are giving if you want to go to another one they are, they are uh, trapping us slowly okay so don't fall on the trap okay <laughs> uh, so just be conscious uh, which one is free uh, we are going to use okay standard one is free and uh, in every category you will find uh, different classes okay uh, where i can show you is uh, the the product is here inside for example standard for every features given inside okay you have to read it before you use okay we have to read it everything before you use key feature what it is going to do everything is there and now look at the pricing of course we are not going to use pricing but we should know about pricing okay when we are going to use uh, the storages or any data transfer or you want to migrate from one uh, zone to another zone or from one region to another region okay for everything see the what are the cases i i have my data in the region in, in the availability zone maybe my data i want from for example from mumbai to i want to take it to london or to japan or within the zone i want to transfer so how many number of time you are requesting how many number i iops iops this the input output per uh, uh, second iops okay how many time you are requesting how many time you are retrieving it so for everything they have pricing okay so what is the computer capacity memory capacity uh, see uh, what you call cpu capacity number of cpu you used okay the network bandwidth for based on everything they are fixing okay most of the cloud provider are fixing so it uh, takes some time to study okay you can see here all these things are available and when you look at the uh, cpu power and all all features are provided what is the access point what is the cost what is uh, everything okay so we just have a glance before what is the capacity that they provided and i am going to use it okay everything we are going to explore okay this for understanding only i am saying it's important again without understanding simply we are clicking in sometime we we may commit a mistake in order to avoid that one only i am i'm telling uh, uh, that bala was explain about that because of him i fall on this problem don't say anything please <laughs> it's it is your responsibility to take care of everything okay yeah this is the one thing i have to say clearly next i am going to log into my cloud there is a um, account login uh, i click on here it will ask you two choices or root user i am user i am not prepared i am user i am uh is separate login technique okay so i use the root user and what is your uh, root email the email what you get okay and uh, here also they provided you want to create an account you can proceed okay just click next and what is the password you are using I already have told here i will just call back okay how many password we use in the life really difficult 
<laughs> yes. Now we have logged on to the, um, what do you call, our cloud. It's almost the same before we log on what we have seen. Similarly, it is uh, showing the where I'm going to begin my service. You can see the account. You will have AWS Management Console, your account details, your billing details, credential, and all related. AWS Personal Health I means what are the servers working for maintenance, their zones, all these uh, details they are giving, or your uh, system, how, what is the health condition, all these details they are providing. So go to, after logging, you go to Console Management. Okay, console management is arrived. Here you can find your services. Okay, compute service, EC2 is present here. You have containers, all the services they try to classify. Let me enlarge this. Okay. You see here, compute services, containers, and storages, all these are classified here. Okay, classified, your databases. RDS, remote data, uh, relational database, TV, Mongo, everything is there. Okay, so it is easy to fetch everything, and every services has its own uh, desktop. I'm sorry, the dashboard. Every services have their uh, dashboard. Now, first thing is we are going to work with the EC2. So uh, here, recently opened one is uh, present here. If we want to open from the service, yes, of course we are going to work with EC2. We are going to fetch it. Yeah, this is uh, uh, the dashboard where we can find our resources. Okay, you can see here running uh, resource. Yes, I'm going to running resource. I have one running resource already. I have one running resource already. Where I am running this resource. Okay, my cloud name is uh, here. I have my account. This is DR Bala is my account. And all of my account detail is here. At side, you can see in middle of the support and our uh, cloud name, you will find your regions. Okay. As I told, 24 regions are there. What it shows? Mumbai. I am in Mumbai now. Okay. With the Mumbai computing in the data center. So Mumbai has AP South 1. This is the, the region uh, name located in Mumbai in Asia Pacific. So I am using this, uh, I'm having one instance. Nothing but I have one Windows uh, operating system in that Mumbai. I'm going to uh, access from Mumbai to here. Where I'm going to keep all my data in Mumbai and uh, wherever I go, today I'm here, tomorrow we don't know where we will go. The situations are there. Okay, you are go for example, take I'm going home, I'm presently in Nakale. Uh, so I will access there also. So what I'm going to keep inside and how we are going to prepare everything I'm going to say, that's all about uh, EC2. Now, I will just give some clarity about, um, uh, some more data about EC2. So, it's going to be provided uh, scalable, let me take the laser point, scalable computing capacity. So, what does that mean? You are using today some uh, 30, M, uh, 30 GB or 3 GB or 5 GB data. You want to extend the memory capacity or you want to extend your um, uh, CPU, yes, possible, scalable. So, scale up and down is possible. So it enables scale up and down. You are having more and you want to reduce it, or you are having less, you want to increase it. These are all on paid service, not on free. And they provide virtual servers. Server will be in some location in any region in the world, in around the world in the infrastructure of the AWS. And uh, I put the picture here, it is support for 12 months free. And uh, they say 750 hours per month. I don't know how they get 750 hours per month. <laughs> I'm generalizing, but I'm even calculated after sometimes, you know, uh, 81 days, 24 hours, even I found 744 hours only. But they say, they, I mean, they are offering more than that. Okay. Yeah. Important is per month, they are allowed these hours, I mean, the entire month, T2 micros or T3 micros. This is free, free product free access. This is the capacity of the infrastructures. So the infrastructures are classified, kept in different ranges, T2, 
L2, uh, X large, uh, like that. Up to 128 range they have. 128 uh, C, uh, CPU. So 128 CPU, this is after all one CPU only. One CPU only T2 with less capacity. If that zone is not having T2 and they are offering through the T3 for free tier. Okay. And the eligibility for the memory storage for the uh, EC2 is 30 GB by default. Okay, understand T2 while preparing. Don't go and choose any other. So I'm clearly stressing here. T2 is important. Okay, some key terms are needed. Instance, what is instance? Nothing but our virtual computing environment. We used to say technically as instance. Instance, nothing but our virtual computing environment. Same operating system, everything is present over the cloud. Amazon machine image. AMIs, nothing but the Windows software. We need a software, not the image, software image. The software image they use to say as AMIs. So this is for installation purpose. We have instance types. What type of instance are we using? CPU, memory, storage, and networking. These are the types. And to access this, we need some login technique that is provided by keypads. Okay. So to access this instance, we need a keypad. Keypad nothing but it is a key to access to cloud. So we have two types of keys. One is called a public key. Other one is called private key. You might have studied that public key, private key concept in a cryptography technique. That <laughs> key they are used, nothing but. Okay, public key they use in their stores in uh, cloud. And private key we are going to use in our system to log into that. Okay, so we are going to use the key. And we should know about the instance store volumes. Instance store volume in a sense, uh, volume, the instance, what you are going to work. Okay, the instance what is prepared already. The instance what you prepared already called instance store volume. In that instance or volume, what we are going to do, we will start and work with, we don't want it, we will stop it. If we don't permanently don't want, we will terminate it. For that reason, they say as a technical term, nothing, nothing to worry. Now, coming to the working with the uh, Windows instance, I'm, uh, of course, I would like to give other information that I'm. it is not only allowed to create a Windows instance. Of course, you can work with uh, Linux or any other instance. Uh, why I focus this is, I am really interested to work with uh, uh, Windows and also it is easy to work. You know it, you have practice, okay? So create and working with the Windows instance. We have uh, one information I received yesterday, Amazon uh, submit online. Really, it is interesting why Amazon is a leading cloud provider. I, I had this question. I also observed so many things. And uh, they said 60% of the Windows server is managed by Amazon. Uh, Azure, you know, Microsoft has Azure uh, cloud platform. Uh, though, what is happening, Amazon is managing 60% of the Microsoft uh, Azure cloud uh, servers. Windows servers are managed here. This is one of the information I received yesterday, uh, online submit, uh, which I sell in uh, London. Uh, like us, like our program, they also provided through wire. Okay. And uh, we are going to have here in this instance, we are going to have a root volume. Okay. Now, look at the diagram, you will understand. As in the cloud, we are uh, sorry, the client computer, we are having private and uh, the private uh, will have private key. I mean, the um, laptop or the desktop computer is our uh, client computer, which will have a private key. We are going to use this key to log into the computer and uh, to use the internet to access the cloud, to access the uh, instance. So the instant is here. It's nothing but our Windows or uh, Linux or any operating system that you have. This is having a memory. It needs a memory to boot up. It needs a boot up memory, no? nothing but it's a root. This root is a memory is offered by Elastic Block Store. So Elastic Block Store, EBS, they say. I don't, know, I don't know what is this EBS, nothing but no, it's a root, it's uh, our RAM, what we have in the laptop or in the, uh, uh, what do you call it, in the desktop. So to boot up our system, we need a memory. Uh, that, that's Elastic Block Store name. This is what I am called. Uh, Bala, you are called by your name. Okay. So you would like to say, okay, elastic block is nothing but the root. They say root volume, nothing but it's a boot volume. Okay. So 
it is allowed to specify in any availability zone so you can create your uh, um, uh, zone in, i mean uh, instance in any zone okay and you can uh, launch by using the key so we are going to use the key already the public key is given while preparing the instance okay as already i told where we are going to have we are already i'll open this one and how do you going to create the instance i will show you later in previous to this first of all i would like to make you more inquire on this and uh, for that reason i will first of all open my instance i will show you later i will uh, create the instance and i will show you first of all i will go and open the instance what is running so i am already running here my um, instance okay this is my instance already i told it's running in uh, mumbai because i am from india i am indian i want to uh, get some touch with uh, uh, india no so <clears throat> so i created there okay you can see here the detail in the bottom public ip is provided there is a public dns you can see here dns is provided this dns is important through this dns only we are going to access also for every instance they have provided a ip address public ip is provided there is a public ip once you created a uh, any instance immediately it is given with one domain name system or public ip either you can use this ip or the domain name to access this also within their local network in the private of their uh, data center they are using this private ip after log in to the system we will use this ip whether it is perfect or not so private ip is the one which is in their their private network their data center and that data center is provided a connection to uh, through uh, through the internet and we are accessing here okay so this is the basic knowledge we need and to work with this we are going to have uh, um, what do you call connect we are going to say connect in this they will provide download desktop file okay there is a download desktop file you have to download it i have already downloaded any i will download now okay there are two ways to work with okay either you can download here uh, you can log into the remote pc or can also use rds i will show you after opening this one okay so there is file download i am going to click over here it is asking to connect okay it's asking password of course i changed the password already so i will use my password okay i will show you how to create the password and all it say just uh, accept uh, um, this um, what do you call certificate related say yes now i would like to ask you this screen is visible to you then hello i hope this is visible to you oh, so it is visible yeah thank you it is visible yes <laughs> remote pc yeah. okay fine thank you <laughs> remote pc i was actually asking in the morning <laughs> to test this also after that i will miss it actually okay no problem i'll minimize yeah. and show you here yeah it fine is, thank you it is visible only <laughs> yeah. yeah we uh, log on to Uh, remote pc from mumbai i have just minimized here for your understanding so i'm just maximizing now uh, now this is not my pc actually it's actually from from remote it is from mumbai okay it is from mumbai okay if you want to check uh, you can go to command line and you can see the ip address that will produce that will produce local ip 172 31 169 let me go and check what is provided there minimize i come to my uh, pc my laptop now understand i use the word my laptop remote desk okay and now look at this because i will be jumping here and there <laughs> this will not get confused 172.31.33 yes we are perfect so we are access to that through the cloud through by, by providing this uh, desktop environment we have log on to their uh, system let me make it max maximize to the remote pc i am now going to the remote pc this is remote pc okay i have checked with the remote uh, ip address 172.31.32 uh, sorry 31.32.1 this is a, a gateway and 169 is the ip address okay fine everything is perfect it's working so in this what we are going to do what we do in our local computer or in desktop everything we are going to do for one year free okay what will happen after one year they will close the account or they will ask us to uh, you want to migrate to Uh, paid membership or no 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 i don't want 
what we will do we will just close that account we will open another email is matter of email we create another email do the same thing okay so open one email you have which is not already used in the aws this is what we want so again start using practicing so many things are coming newly okay let us go uh, enjoy our things okay so here all the softwares you are going to in install even you can install uh, um, any servers and that server is accessible outside the world today i will show you i will install the iia server here and i will provide prepare some uh, web pages and again i will share the web file to you you can access from india or uh, i hope uh, many country people have joined they can also access from there we will have an experience uh, like this okay uh, <clears throat> Okay, this is what we are going to do. We should have a clear, clear vision before we go there. Okay. Now, how to work with? I'll show the steps first of all in the slide. Later, I will go to create uh, instance. So we have a launch instance here. Uh, in the beginning, it was the first screen. Of course, I had one instance. So now the instance is going down. Okay, click on the launch instance, and it provides the list of uh, uh, what do you call I am uh, sorry AMI uh, AMI. So AMI, uh, Amazon Amazing Image. Okay, Amazon Amazing Image. There are many free. You can see the free list here. From this, you are going to choose which one you want. Okay, if there are uh, categories provided in the left corner, you can choose it. You can search it. Okay, uh, this uh, based on your interest only. Okay, you are going to choose. And we have steps in the top. You can see choose uh, AMI. That is your image. We have totally seven steps. You completed mean your instance is ready. Okay, and uh, the, we are in the second step here. It, it's asking to select uh, what is the uh, what is what do you call instance type. We are going to say T2 Micron. Remember this one. I already uh, discussed this one. T2 Micron, which is free tier, free tier eligible. Okay, excuse me. It's free tier uh, eligible. Okay, so we are going to choose. If you are going to choose something uh, other uh, you know, or some other thing, you will be ready. Be ready for. Uh, paying from your pocket. Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm telling. Okay, and follow the third third steps. Configure. Keep default one. Okay, how many number of uh, CPU you want? You want to increase anything? You are going to increase anything? You will be paid. Uh, sorry, you are going to pay. Keep as it is. Let it be uh, provided. But something is there. Some small gap is there. I will uh, exploit that one. I will show you. Okay, now the third one. Add the storage again. By 30, I already told you, 30 GB is free. If you are going to add volume, yes, of course, you need more memory. We can add volume. And uh, whatever the memory size you are fixing, mean, that is going to be paid service. So by default, 30 is free. You can access to this. And next one, any tags you want, just its uh, namesake, you, your instance name, you are going to say as any tags. You can say this is extra fitting. Uh, like car, I'm going to keep uh, some extra fitting like that. Huh? Uh, configure and security group. So this is important actually. If you are planning to uh, use any uh, uh, install any uh, um, uh, server in your computer, for example, let's say um, I'm going to take uh, IAS server, Internet Information Service web server. I'm going to establish. We have to add the rule policies and which IP you are going to use. Automatically, this will be just we are going to use which protocol you are going to use. I'm going to say HTTP protocol. What is uh, IAS? It is going to provide support for HTTP protocol. Yes, I'm going to choose HTTP automatically. It will come. And uh, once everything is ready, we are going to say launch. That's it. What I actually changed, only configure security. And especially I focused for, uh, uh, it's my intention that I'm going to prepare a uh, web server. For that reason, I'm added. That's free. Okay, for that reason, and uh, we are closed. And once you are launched, remain. Uh, once you are uh, click on the launch, it will ask you um, what do you call prepare a key, ask to download. It's important steps. Okay, through this key only we are going to work with. So we are going to uh, this is going to be provided one time only as a name dot pm. Pm is the file name. So public key will be once you are down, uh, downloaded, you are getting the private key. Okay. And the public key already is going to be stored in the cloud. And you want to give any name for the uh, key, you can also give without that also no worries. And you are going to say launch. Once it is launched, your instance will be uh, ready by a couple of uh, minutes. 
and the instance aren't working on you will understand what is the status going on they will initiate a short provisioning and a slow by slow, uh, slow it will be start running on once it is start running on you can see the private ip public ip through the public ip only we are going to work and uh, to connect with this there is a connect here once you are clicking here you will find uh, download a desktop file by click, uh, using that one we are going to log in and important already i prepared the key so i used to log in through that and uh, there is a get password so click on this one and you can generate the password this password you have to keep so what is the dns name the dns name is here and what is the username administrator and what is the password we are going to generate and we will keep it using this and we are going to log in okay and once you are logging as like uh, what i already shown you will be finding uh, login window here and you are going to say yes with the certificate and uh, that's one idea to login the another is we can also use remote uh, desktop connection which is provided by microsoft itself okay uh, either one way we can use it okay this is all uh, 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 we are going to do and once you are logging mean you will be set up with the operating system at the first time and you are going to say use the na same network uh, card that you use in your lo local computer say yes and uh, your windows will be ready once ready you can see understand what i shown like local ip and other things you can compare and verify and importantly when you are going to browse there will be a problem every time it will ask uh, uh, you want to continue there is a problem something like that that we can stop by there is a, a server manager where you can find there is a internet connection configuration there is on just to open it and off it then uh, problem will settle down i'll go whatever the time showing here just for your pre preparation okay after that how do you going to prepare ias okay after that, how do you going to prepare ias i am uh, again from the server manager we are going to begin with uh, a new policy and we are going to proceed we are going to proceed and we will uh, choose whatever that we want i am going to use uh, asp.net dynamic pages first of all uh, it is not allowed second time we are going to update actually first time without uh, dynamic it is showing i will try again today Uh, and you will find IAS and on Monday now you can publish your website, dynamic website, which is uh, accessible. Uh, the either you can access through the DNS or you can access through the public address from your local. I mean from the remote PC or from your local PC or anywhere in the world. Okay, so this is what all about um, what do you call um, the um, uh, easy to. Now I will go and create. That's our job. I have to what I discuss. I have to show you. I'm going to launch. Ah, well, by the way, you can choose any uh, zone. I'm in uh, Mumbai. Okay, if you want to work with another zone, yes, of course. But remember, the problem most problem most people what they do they prepare instant uh, unknowingly they, if they click and choose some other zone, the instant is running somewhere. So they may not understand that this system is running there. That's why you should be aware in which uh, zone you are preparing. For example, you can prepare uh, EC2 here, S3 in another zone, some other uh, product or service in some other zone is possible. But we have to be very clear with where I am preparing. Otherwise, until you know you are prepared so many again number of uh, uh, instances you are prepared again limited. Okay. If number of instances you prepared is going more than that, again you will be chargeable. And of course, you can go to the billing once in a while. After some time, you committed mistake or not, then it shows it zero mean you are perfect. It's showing some amount you are in trouble that you you committed something wrong. Okay. So once you are coming here, it is asking uh, the the operating system where I mean I mean which side, right? Uh, yeah. We can go to the Once you are coming to this uh, creating instance, let me cancel. I just was going some other direction. Ah, I'm starting from the beginning. Create instance. Okay, it shows several uh, operating system. Okay, several operating system here. You can have a look and whichever the free they mention as a free. Okay, and remember our capacity are very less, 30 GB only. Okay, some servers are come up with. Everything. For example, take this server, uh, 2012 or 2, uh, Microsoft uh, SQL SQL Server 2016 is inside. When you are installing the operating system, immediately it is also come up with the database server inside. So products already there. So we have to absorb the bundle and uh, are we using within our limit? So now I am going to 
basically choose windows if you want to filter like you are going to say windows here type windows and just enter it will show only windows product i am searching by windows it shows only windows product and which i am going to only choose base because i don't want any other thing it is simply a data center data center edition with 2019 base i am going to select it this is all about deciding which operating system you are going to install okay so once you are selecting this okay you can see here as i told it's already there by default now just to proceed next i'm not going to do any changes i will keep default okay are we going to do anything here no if you are directly clicking on launch min without modifying anything it will launch okay you see here launch button and i am going to proceed because i want to show you ias configuration also to the seven six system for the reason only i am proceeding okay anything no no i don't want to add any any more memory with the available memory is sufficient i don't want to show this is extra fittings yes this is important so if you want to configure your server you have to add the rule okay so rule is added which rule want i want to access http service because http is a app for for web page access so i enable it okay fine that's it i just choose http only that's all no pain just you can click on review and launch it yes yes i am perfect i am not choose anything uh, more importantly look at are you choose the t2 micro remember okay everything is perfect and you are going to launch it okay now it's asking for a key pair since i already created so it's asking you want to use the same uh, or new i would like to show new one uh, what is the name i want maybe i say uh, name is webina okay i say webina okay if you want to download okay download or you can give another name webina today something like that any name okay so this name will be downloaded as pm file okay download you see it's downloaded we can see in the download so this is important to connect with if you are lost this file uh, that mean almost you are <laughs> close to that instance you cannot take our access to that instance remember so it's in the desktop remember and uh, instance is prepared now we are going to launch launch mean it is their duty i finished my job yes wow it's created huh? what's the time nothing fraction of minute now we can view the instance of course i'm not given any instance name instance name also there there is a point of giving instance name i'm not using okay it might be in the down i have to enlarge this one yes now the preparation is going on the status is pending they are establishing So initialization going on yeah almost started running the status is coming almost a stay, uh, running status now you can choose if you are going to work with this one what you have to do you should get connect now you can see the public ip private ip created public is with the one which we are going to use for login you see there is a ip address given you click this corner copy Okay, I will take this one to Notepad. This is my DNS, new DNS name, and I want username password. Also, you can take uh, public IP address because either you can use uh, uh, DNS name or you can use IP address. Okay, fine. Next, just have an observation as the other things are prepared. Everything is perfect. Yeah. Okay. All the details are there. Good. Now we are going to connect. Yes. Click on connect. and now we are going to take the remote desktop file just click uh, before you click this also either we can click there or here no worries uh, click on uh, desktop download yeah i have downloaded here and we are going to generate the password get the password yeah now to get the password it is asking the key path 
where you keep the download it is already there in the download i will connect i will connect from the download part already i downloaded webinar today okay some name i gave already is there you see i am connecting this file which i already downloaded as a key to generate the password okay it is already generated it the password is inside it is encrypted now i am decrypting let me choose any other maybe i have to choose some ah it's old one i prepared excuse me today is yeah this is why i gave another name <laughs> thank you okay uh, date and time wise where i am here yeah, it's another folder excuse me let me go to the yeah i prepared and i tested earlier na no? let me go to the download this computer download yeah i choose another uh, key uh, here is my key okay here is my key i'll open yeah now decrypt yes our password is ready so copy the password or you can copy all together i previously copied everything one by one na and now all this uh, together you can copy and you can also put uh, put here for our understanding and i will enlarge this one for your understanding okay we make it a little small okay here is our password our username our uh, domain yeah this is the password we are arranged and we are ready with our password previously i know my password so i just uh, uh, falsely entered okay now we prepared everything our domain name uh, our uh, admin user is administrator always and our password so ready okay then close it now we have to start our uh, computer so what is the instance we downloaded from the uh, connect no this downloaded one already available here it's, you can see download area, area here in the bottom i'm going to open that one it's automatically taken because the what do you call uh, uh, dns dns name user name already taken only we are going to provide the password you see this is the dns name perfectly but anyhow we are keeping our dns name here for our understanding and the only thing is password is needed i'm going to give the password i'm going to copy this password and i'm going to paste it here once pasted say okay login at some what happened okay something happened let me see yeah, another one is there excuse me i will just uh, turn off this one one more is running yeah of course no problem okay let's start the new one yeah the old one was running na no? old computer was uh okay start and i and uh, copy the password paste oh, something uh, credential problem maybe i used uh, different let me i have to try once again uh, once again the steps okay once again the steps uh, get password get password connect the correct one correct one only i connected na this one minute be patient connect let me copy from here okay maybe i copied some extra data extra data may be coming okay this is the password exactly okay so i will take this password now i'll close this environment i'll start again then use the password Yes, yeah, it's ready. Yeah, because maybe I copied some extra space or something that went on problem. So instant is ready. It's asking for verify the certificate. Yes, simply verify. Now the yeah, excuse me, somebody talking. Cross talk is there. Kindly please. Yeah, now our uh, operating system is uh, starting. We are starting newly. All the environments are getting ready. Yeah, personalized setting for the Windows. First time only.
So at first, uh, in order to access the network to this remote PC, we are going to say yes. Yes, access the virtual yes, NIC. Sir. It's called virtu Excuse virtual NIC. Yes, 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 yeah, uh, now it is uh, 12. Uh, like, uh, how long you require, sir? Uh, time is going on more. <laughs> it took more time. Uh, it That's is 12. No, uh, it okay, ma'am. I'll finish uh, maybe another uh, 10, uh, 20 minutes, ma'am. Tell you if I'm going That's to, uh, you know, yeah. another 20 minutes. I'll fine, sir. That is okay, fine, sir. No issues. Session is going on interesting. <laughs> That's what participants are <laughs> posting their <laughs> feedback. Uh, okay. But uh, we will share the feedback link. You can continue, sir. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. We are what? We are expecting. If everybody is interested, I am really extend my time. Uh, but you no, know, I can cl no, they, clearly. Yeah. yeah. If you are interested, me, I will continue, ma'am. No, no uh, limitation then. I'll, okay. I'll try my level okay, best, ma'am. Ma okay, yeah. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yes. Okay, sir. Uh, yes. <clears throat> I might have wasted my time in the introduction, but then. <laughs> Uh, so I browse my site now. When I go here, uh, this site is coming here, right? For example, if I'm going to find uh, Google from the remote, I'm browsing. So every time there is a policy asking you to verify. Every time there is a policy to verify here, they will ask. Uh, warning message is coming you see warning message this warning message every time will come you say uh, okay close then after that only is going so this is a problem you see now internet is ready for our remote pc for our remote pc internet is ready just we accepted the message that what is received there and in order to stop this one we can click on the start menu you will find server manager everything any server you are going to have just click on the server manager and you can uh, go to the settings um, go to the local server and you will find here internet setting it will come here yes, echo coming Oh. Yeah, our participants, partic Aisha, Aisha, madam, please mute your audio. You can do, ma'am. You can mute Venkate, audio. Ma yeah, Venkatesh, sir, please mute your video. Mute your video. Aisha, madam. Please mute your participants. Please mute your audio and video. Yeah, thank you, Venkateshwar sir. Yeah. Yeah. Now, without any disturbance, we are going to browse. Uh, for example, I'm going to browse some other site or something. Something. Uh, the error what we received earlier. Just enable now. Wait. I have enabled once again. I will check. Uh, server local server. I turned off, right? Still in on? Maybe I'm not closed yet. Okay, yes, off. Okay, off. And I will close this, maybe previous window. Okay, I'll just close the internet browser and uh, open again. So the message should not come. For that reason only, I'm just uh, turned off that condition. Okay, just go to the Google. This time there is no message. Okay, otherwise every time there is a message coming. Okay, now it's okay. It's browsing, we are working as like normal computer. And now I want to show how do you going to create uh, web services. Just go to uh, manage and then add rules and features. Just proceed new and then let it be as it is role. Say next, choose your instance as it is. And you will find here uh, the IA server. Okay, click on this, add the feature, follow it. And uh, it is prepared first of all for uh, static. And the next again, once again, we have to go for preparing dynamic like to access ASPX uh, or .NET page. Okay, say next, say next, and then install it. That means we are installing the server, IA server inside. Okay, let it be installed uh, since time is going one side. Uh, already you know about this one. And I, what I will do is I will just begin side by side with, uh, <coughs> let it be uh, get prepared with uh, what you call uh, uh, IA server, okay? Uh, S3. 
So what is S3? Uh, Amazon Simple Storage Services. Again, you can find the service detail. Uh, it is valid for uh, 12 months, 5 GB. And uh, what we are going to do is simply store and retrieve the data. And uh, how we are going to store mean? It is going to store as an object within the bucket. The bucket is provided. We have an object. We are storing as an object. We are going to retrieve as an object. Okay. Object storage is the bucket or the S3 service. Okay. So <clears throat> the, it is going to provide uh, optional metadata. Metadata is going to provide all the detail about the file when it is created, who created, because may, if many people are going to work in the same uh, object storage, it will provide uh, the detail about uh, the file or the bucket. Okay. In the bucket, we can able to upload uh, the files, any files or anything. Okay. And also we can have one or more bucket. This is another issue. Oh, how many bucket I can prepare? We can prepare one or more bucket. And uh, the buckets are uh, durable and scalable. And uh, one thing is uh, there is a limit for put put a request, get the request. There is a limit. Okay. We have to follow the request. 20,000 get request, 2,000 put request only we can follow. Okay. So uh, uh, we can go and find S3 from the Amazon website, S slash S3 are from the product service okay coming to the architecture uh, s3 architecture we can uh, have uh, small static website uh, uh, or dynamic website preparation for example this is user we have s3 section here okay assume that box is a uh, cloud okay and which we have uh, s3 here and uh, only we are going to work today in the green part and uh, i'm telling another part is also there you know there is a possibility to connect with a dynamo db that is a no sql database uh, through the uh, Lambda. So Lambda is a serverless function which is, which needs uh, IAM service and a gateway library. Using the library, using this uh, uh, credential, identity credential, Lambda function is going to connect with the DynamoDB and this can be also connected with our uh, S3 bucket in order to prepare dynamic website. Okay, today focus is um, because the other side dynamic website preparation will take more time, but within the S3, how to prepare dynamic website, I will focus. Okay, and this is what I am saying. We are going to prepare static website and using this serverless function and able to connect with the create a database in DynamoDB and we can prepare dynamic. This is, it will take another two hours. You can learn from your side. Okay, when you are going to prepare a bucket, bucket has its own name, unique. It is a unique name, it's important. Okay, even though you are working with any zone, bucket name is a unique identifier. Uh, for all the region, all the zones. Okay, so it's one of the important thing. Bucket is unique. So S3 is our uh, bucket name. What is the uh, website or the region you are going to have? So this based on this, for example, I prepared my bucket name. S3 is the service. This is my uh, Mumbai zone. This is my Mumbai zone. So through this, we can. If I'm giving my bucket as public, any public people can access to that one. Okay. When you are coming to create a bucket, we have to give a uh, uh, share a namespace that should be unique already i said it should not have uh, upper cases importantly so uh, everything is uh, lower cases you have, even you can use uh, all lower cases or number okay number is also allowed but it should be unique okay we can select the uh, bucket in any location any region you want okay and uh, you can also select or un unselect your uh, area public or private you want to show public you can create i will directly go and work now we will uh, go to the previous one. Remember, previously we were in the uh, IS. Yeah, IS ready. Okay. Now I will uh, go to browser in the local itself from the remote. I'm sorry, I'm jumping from the S3 to uh, EC2. I'm accessing because uh, previously we were working with uh, S3. I'm creating a local. Uh, I'm just calling local host. Okay. Now my IIS server is responding. You can see this folder, where is it? From basically C colon, you can go to C colon. Yeah, from the INET, uh, INET bug, there is a www root. Yeah, file is here. If you are going to add any other file, okay, we will create one uh, file here. You will also test it over. A notepad, I'm taking, I'm just going to have a um, uh, little point because I just I will keep some HTML file, okay? Let me type. Okay, let me type. Huh? This, I try to change the part name because of no problem. You can understand. I'm just typing uh, HTML file only. Okay, I'll have body. Then close the body. 
close the html and inside i will have just one heading one i will say hello welcome to all sir so, i only am welcoming you all okay through uh, technology only so now you are going to <coughs> choose as your name what that you want i am going to say for example this is uh, hello hello dot html for example i say okay after finishing this this sir i saved excuse me i saved some other location i have to choose the location now might be gone to some other location ha huh? excuse me save us once again sorry i went and i put it in the uh, document part so it should be come here na so i net root coming to the root now we are going to say here as this name what we already said yeah i prepared i hope this will be there now i am going to access this hello in the browser let's see i am still accessing in the local only html yeah it's accessible okay hello welcome to all okay now what i am going to do this is working in the local in uh, mumbai now i am going to minimize my minimize my remote computer okay i am going to minimize my remote computer now i am i came to my pc i am in my laptop now i will use my browser in which i am going to use this uh, dns or ip and uh, copy the dns either from here yeah, it's already instant is available here we can copy here huh? there is a copy here you can copy the instance or ip address public ip address either dns or no we can just enter the uh, ias will be accessible what you prepared in mumbai now we are accessible to the ias server i had prepared one hello file shall we check it hello dot html yeah now i will just give this uh, to you uh, in the chat box for your access okay you can also access to this one and also uh, get my greetings please yeah it's working so i can also uh, might work i guess no one give the response can anyone give the response in chat box is working or not i guess it should work i will get the ip address previously i access through the uh, yeah thank you uh, i access through the domain name now i will say through the public ip address what is provided in that yeah uh, now the same way yeah it's working again in the public ip address if you going to say your uh, uh, hello dot html this is accessing another way directly through the ip address yes of course i would like to share again this is public ip or not you can check it out okay public ip is working now so in the same way we can also go on to reconfigure again you are a, a web server for dynamic if you are going to create any again the same we want to know the steps go to the add and again extend the again it will go for uh, side by side i'll make it and i will go back back for uh, i want to show the excuse me back uh, you will find here in web service there is a application application management or something here web server you will find here applications uh, development in which you are going to select asp.net okay add the feature asp.net if you are if you i am because i a server for asp.net select the feature in the application development say next say next install it let it get installed we will go and do the other operation let me minimize okay now where i left creating the bucket in the s3 okay i'll go to the s3 okay i'll take another window maybe i will take another because it's another window no? let me take another uh, aws i will take uh, aws another one yeah go to your uh, console yeah console again 
going to be what is that s3 click on choose s3 yeah i have another bucket already i prepared now i will uh, open a new bucket create how to work with the bucket so the uh, bucket is going to be created now you you are going to you know the rule all should be in a small letter and the bucket should be unique okay i will say for example webinar if i am going to follow what is the region you want let it be in mumbai only because you, if you are keeping everything in one location we can understand or you are keeping in different places uh, that uh, may not be understand okay where i kept where i prepared we going to say if, you, if you, there is uh, already bucket you will not get uh, any uh, i mean uh, you will get problem if it is uh, there uh, not there you, you will be allowed let me click on yes somebody already taken this one let me say webinar today i am preparing a new one because webinar bucket is already there yeah. already now so i gave webinar yeah what is the, what is the problem again caps lock oh i gave the caps lock today yeah sorry excuse me i am not followed the rules yeah so webinar today is there then i say mumbai location i am preparing so it has uh, four step only uh, now you want to keep uh, versioning for example when you are going to update same file again 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 meaning if the system wanted to keep the versioning yes of course i want to keep the versioning uh, if there is no versioning mean it will be overwriting your uh, data okay you want to give any tax no worries i don't want and other one another information if many people are going to work with the object we can choose server logging who are accessible to that file so this is for machine learning okay so uh, the log file will be automatically generated the people who are all going to work with the uh, bucket many people are accessing mean it will generate if you want you can uh, just enable it okay here is you want to keep public yes block all public it says you don't want mean it can block it you want mean you can release it you want to block all public as is no i want to keep yes i acknowledge i want to keep all public okay Yes, almost we are ready. We are reviewing. We are going to create our bucket. Yeah, the bucket I prepared as public. If you want, you can also keep private because I want to give you an access to you from the remote. You are also going to check it. This is my bucket. I am going to click over here. From here, you can create your folder, create upload file. and you have permission to do all this access by every detail you can understand about this one let me uh, upload some file uh, for example for our understanding i'm going to add html file which i can give you to access remotely let me i created another some file like um, let me go to my folder i had on html file already so this html file i have here where i prepared then uh, there is a web page yeah might be inside Yeah, I have here one uh, index.html file. I don't know what is inside. Uh, let me proceed. I'm uploading. Yeah. So you whatever the permission you want in that file, you can uh, check it. That is a wizard you can follow. And importantly, keep the standard one. Don't uh, migrate because uh, the, again it will lead on um, payment. Yeah, everything is ready. Now it is going to be uploaded. You can see the status here starting. yeah done yeah we have um file inside in the bucket now to know about the bucket details you just click on the file and you can see also the version i have only one version just now i uploaded when i when you click it is automatically providing the url okay if you want to give uh, public for example i am going to click here uh, i have i would have clicked in another one it is taking here itself but let me go back in beginning it is not coming what we have to do is inside every file you can also protect okay it is not only the bucket even though in the bucket public inside every file you want to keep private or public so remember the bucket is public in a sense it's not entire bucket okay i go to the bucket again okay so look at this one choose your file if you are going to say action and you will find here there is a public is the public yeah there is a make public 
you are going to say make public only then it will be accessible yes make public otherwise you may have a, an assumption bucket we said public so the entire bucket is going to be access is not like that okay and once you are clicking on this you will find the link na i will just give a link i don't know what is inside i'll just uh, copy this link very good excuse me i will uh, open this one as separate and again i will look it here uh, the same thing should come there to you i will um, yeah i have first name last name and submit button let me share you this uh, for your understanding uh, very chat box i'll put for your access i'll put for your access so this is from s3 this is from s3 okay this is all so you can have n number of file in the bucket to deal with you on the private or public okay you can have n number of bucket be carefully deal standard one okay you can, but in the bucket at presently we are dealing with the static pages if we are going to work with the dynamic pages with the uh, sorry, my uh, what you call uh, dynamo db dynamo db or uh, with the lambda function again it will take another 2 or 3 hour at least 3 hour to complete it and today what i uh, tried is only to show the um, um, what you call uh, static pages okay one more thing is uh, reminds now to, to check with the server we already had uh, asked the server uh, to prepare the what you call dynamic page from the uh, ec2 i went on the ec2 and now i'm going to prepare one file let me take the previous html page i will add one more uh, tag <coughs> make it bigger bigger font size almost we are reached don't worry okay and thanks for your uh, patience yeah i will introduce um, you know i am not familiar with actually uh, what do you call uh, .net uh, platform i am actually using uh, java platform only and just to prove only i am writing this word uh, not more than this don't ask anything okay so response dot write okay this response dot write uh, we are going to sort of do something i am going to put the same thing inside for example uh, what i had previously and then i will save it as another file uh, i'll put it in the double quote inside because i want to show as bigger and i finished it uh, so this is one uh, one thing that we is going to print the statement so let me go for save us um i'm going to use asp x5 hello dot asp x5 so i configured as dynamic i mean uh, except for dot uh, uh, net framework okay let me check in the local first uh, this is hello hello dot uh, html let me type hello dot aspx what happened typing mistake uh, line number 5 hello welcome all so i started working okay my program <laughs> what i typed i said previously no respond the right maybe small letter i guess yeah h1 is right <laughs> uh if you are uh, if i'm not able to remember i'll just browse one uh, page about this uh, how to print the statement because i am that much knowledge in the dot net platform okay uh, response that right okay i will get the syntax here okay yeah is there okay I'll just copy from here w3 school uh, is giving the syntax yeah okay response are uh, right without bracket also they are giving yeah let me take this response dot right okay let me take this one okay go here i paste it maybe my data is hello world wait wait let it be hello world or hello something okay hello world is from the what do you call asp yeah, let it be like this okay so where is the page i'm going to refresh it okay remove dollar sign sir color sign okay. 
Ah, here, okay. So, dollar, and, oh, excuse yeah, me. And the tech. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, when I tell you, excuse me, thank you, thank you. Because, you know, time is uh, pretty much. Yeah, no, 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 it's just. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's an error. Yeah, we received, thank you, God. Okay, at the end, I'm not absorbed. I was looking at only this response to write where I made some spelling mistake. Okay, what I put here in the inside is, uh, hello. Yeah, it's hello is coming. This is, uh, hello, uh, yeah. Let me take now this uh, tag inside. Yeah, let me tag here, put, put the tag inside here. Uh, save it. Yeah, I'm going to refresh. Yeah, now it's printed. One thing is remains, we are going to check in the other side. Now the same thing we are going to check in the other side. Uh, what is that? ASPX is working in the remote. ASPX, I mean in the local. If to our local, we are accessing the remote uh, um, server. Yes, you started working. You can also put ASPX file and for your purpose, you can check it. Same data input, you will not feel anything different, but uh, only the file name is changed as uh, uh, you are accessible to ASPX file or not. Huh? You can also check it over. <coughs> I hope it will work. Yeah, this is all about I gave. And another thing is in the bucket. I come to the come back to the bucket. Uh, additional thing is you can go with the versioning. Versioning I already showed. If you want to work with the static, already by immediate I uh, enabled it. Uh, server logs, uh, object log file, encryption file. If you want to keep the encrypted file, you can manage all these available in the property only. So uh, in the next tab to the uh, uh, what do you call uh, bucket. Okay, the so bucket working all detail I gave. So this is all about the detail already demonstrated. Everything is okay. And uh, almost I come to the summary. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, yeah. Today I try to uh, give you the information about uh, cloud computing. What is the basics of cloud computing? And also I try to uh, give information about uh, AWS, Amazon Web Server. And importantly, all of you, please remember to don't commit any mistake. T2, micro, remember always, this is free. Okay. If anything happens, please don't ask me. Because if you are not to choose a correct one, so I'm, I'm not going to take any responsibility. I'm very uh, related. Another one, uh, Amazon is giving another one uh, benefit, I want to say. Uh, there are uh, online, um, um, what do you call, uh, submittees going on. They are, they are all asking, whenever you are asking, um, sorry, using your web services immediately after some uh, days or week, they will uh, collect some feedbacks. Okay, if you are giving some feedbacks, they are giving some uh, dollars. The dollar you can use, uh, 35 dollars we give, you give 5 dollars, something. So those dollars and all we can utilize uh, uh, within Amazon itself. So this is a really wonderful one side. And uh, if any data, for example, I said Lambda uh, serverless function uh, to connect with the Dynamite DB. Uh, those course and all there uh, to study for that one power per hour we charge 25 dollars some point 25 dollars something they say so we can earn some uh, dollar mean those and all can also be utilized for further studies and uh, we can also utilize i'm sorry focused only today with my with the availability of the time i'll try to uh, show more on uh, ec2 and s3 only and uh, by your own interest you know you can go and work with the uh, uh, all the other services like uh, what what is uh, available there and uh, important take and look into before you go have a study have a uh, understand about that one what is this is free how much we can use how many instant we can use and after all having all this information uh, you can do it thank you, thank you very much uh, for everyone and uh, for ever uh, every document is available in the amazon itself okay so don't worry about any extra book or anything so just go to the amazon document everything is available okay you can follow the don't follow the references i used of course uh, from the amazon only and uh, really 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 thank you very much for your cooperation and uh, understandings and uh, given me extra time also <laughs> okay okay wonderful session i guess today we had thanks a lot if you had any question please uh, you can come to the chat box yeah thank you baladendra sir very yes. very happy very happy to see my scholar is becoming more and more knowledgeable i really and, I, I, I really would have begin with uh, introducing you that who you are but in order to have only minimizing time i stopped ma'am no 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 problem anyhow anyhow thank, thank you so much i am really happy happy
and i am re really happy that you are updating yourself that is really good and i am getting lot of feedbacks maybe you can also get, open the chat session there are some really questions available. which they have posted okay. yeah yes sure i will see if if you could not maybe i have the questions maybe on behalf of them i can ask all the participants you can uh, unmute your uh, audio and you can post your uh, questions or suggestions to the resource person yeah yes dollar i read yeah that was an error only it is a question a question um, contact us after the session somebody says is possible through the email you can communicate just type my name google is my friend he will tell you everything and we can connect also i provide the email you can communicate with me sir why don't somebody you post your email email also here oh, yeah it's there ma'am let me go to the first page yeah <laughs> yes sir let me go to the first page i, I gave right. already in the chat in the chat box also or yes fine uh, yeah 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 yes of course <laughs> So this is my email. Um, I'm using <laughs> more than a decade, okay? Uh, almost uh, two decades. So permanent, permanent email you can uh, communicate with. Another college email and all. Whenever I'm working here, that will be temporary. Okay? Of course, uh, unless uh, uh, I'm not able to read that message from there, I will. I'll be here always. Okay? Any other issues? So I have face login issue, taking remote connection after generating the key. Uh, one person asked actually, Mr. Uh, Mangalesh. Okay, uh, he has faced a problem when he generate a key. Uh, I also faced the problem. You see, uh, so be clear because when we create a key, which key is uh, presently created, and we may have many instances. You created many instances in many regions, and uh, please prepare separate folder. And keep your uh, key generated, the PEM dot PEM file in that folder. Because I even today have faced the problem, uh, which key that I prepared yesterday, I connected, uh, tried to make a password. So it says error. Okay. So be clear which is downloaded for which instance. So note it perfect perfectly. Then the problem will be settled down. And remember, uh, note down whatever the instance uh, name you gave and the location you have given, the key you generated, and uh, all you have to remember. And while copying, don't be surprised. Because I am also urging to copy when I copy the password, maybe some extra spaces or something copied. It said password is wrong. Okay, uh, that could be the problem, sir. Otherwise, no issue. Once again, once again, you can go and gener uh, generating. Yeah, key generation is not possible. Only one time. That's the issue. Otherwise, you have to um, what do you call this? Is what I said in the explanation time only. Uh, one time only key generation is possible. So we have to be very sure. If any problem is not accessible, we can recall the password and we can uh, check uh, what is already present. If the key is last mean, we have to uh, terminate that instant. That is the only answer. Uh, next person is asking cloud computing, which field is used? Uh, cloud computing is actually beginning for uh, the present trends like, for example, uh, today you might have here uh, people are talking about uh, big data analytics. Data science, so all these artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, deep learning, all these begin from uh, cloud computing only. Some of them may do in their local computer with the Excel sheet only. This I gave explanation in the beginning itself. So when you know uh, how to work with the cloud, only then you are perfectly use big data analysis, artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, and deep learning and other things. Okay, data science related everything. All analytics is provided. I don't have knowledge and how I go. So basics of data, uh, everybody call cloud computing is needed. Uh, that is an answer for that one. Any other question? Cloud computing used, uh, what is that? Medical field. Of course, medical field is uh, all the fields. I'm saying all the fields. This is what I am very inspired. I'm using this is my second uh, uh, cloud platform. I mean, uh, um, I, I try to explore all the clouds again. <laughs> if you are going to uh, look at me, I'm sure I will be exploring IBM and other uh, uh, Google Cloud platform. And I'm sure really I will go for I'm very much eager interested. But the reason is all the field, the cloud is there. Okay, let's uh, the question is cloud, medical field. Medical field, for example, I am a patient, I have uh, diabetes, I have some uh, problem. 
take some uh, multinational uh, hospitals like, like for example lifeline and some other hospital if i am uh, taking treatment in oman i come to india in chennai lifeline is there my profile will come there so everything is uh, uh, cloud cloud based so cloud based service was left to the making even when i come to see here in the hospital they are showing all their uh, yes please yeah all their um, what do you call uh, hospitals are con connected and, and the, also they are showing how many patients are there in the hospital in uh, usa in london in america every branches have there so once they entered one patient today i am getting long um, admission immediately it is uh, spreaded over the world this is what they are doing i i uh, uh, have an experience with the life life okay medical field more every field of focus not only medical how can i measure performance of the cloud cloud lens uh, performance measure and all it is automatic feedback any performance monitoring system uh, and all uh, is provided by uh, what you call in the aws or any other platform whichever that you use okay the so performance factor we can see the report only if you want to go higher performance of course we have to choose a different type once you are choosing different type which is not offered as a uh, free service again we need to pay okay otherwise whatever the performance is provided by the free service that we have to accept you could have see the uh, you could have understand the performance happened uh, i work with uh, what you call uh, um, mumbai so you want to get more performance my advice is also uh, the cloud cloud computing itself they say go near excuse me, somebody please yes, excuse me time she listen go nearer are closer proximity where uh, uh, where uh, your region is located for example instead of creating in america you are in india you are uh, uh, near closer i am I'm, i'm not able to create an account because I, you know in um, uh, my closer my area there is no region so i just was coming to india okay so better is always closer proximity that will give more performance okay participants can unmute okay. yeah no more question i think Uh, I, I think they will have some questions yeah participants yeah, sure. you can let them let them your audio and interact yeah. with the speaker Hello. i think there are some questions popping up in the chat yes, which paid service of aws for advanced services <laughs> Uh, for uh, performance aspects okay let me give one i uh, one same person or different person okay they are same person there is not uh, clarity with the performance i will i will show this actually everybody expecting of course i appreciate your question i'll try to make you some clarity i already explained about this one but uh, you may not have that understanding but when you are going to the service when you are taking any <coughs> Uh, when you can go to uh, yeah you can see the products okay? you can see the products okay i'll uh, show aws for example i will say easy uh, to new talk la 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 Yeah. I think participants. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing it now from the. Uh, if it is not required, yeah, no kindly unmute your mic. Yeah, mute your mic. Uh, now you see uh, here the one who asked about performance. You see, they have provided processor, Intel, AMD, different processors are there. Which processor you want to exploit your work in the GPU or only CPU? okay so these are all decides the performance okay we are not worried about the free because they are given free but you are really concerned about uh, um, performance there are heavy system okay there are heavy system which provide high performance in all the cloud platform this i'm say, saying as general let me exactly go to the feature so different systems are there different configurations are there okay if i show exactly what is that t2 micron and other extra things kya gana gana tha ke dekh 
क्यों वो प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट कर कुछ ना कुछ हो रहा है ना मतलब कुछ ना somewhere here i found everything clearly maybe in some other i will i will try to find it uh, okay yeah. i see here you see uh in the instance type okay for example we are in the ec2 i am coming to the instance okay in the instance type there is a general purpose in general purpose there are many A one, uh, T three, T three A, T two. This is uh, this is the one that we use. T two. This is the one that we use. And there are so many. So what is freely given is we use. Okay. If you are going to check all other uh, type, when you are going to prepare your uh, instance, choose that instance. So every instance has its capacity. Okay. So we are giving T two. T two means one C P only. Kidar se yada. Okay. You go to another uh, CPU. You, you want a higher performance. You can choose another CPU which gives more, faster, and give uh, good performance. And for every different uh, configuration, charge is different. Different charge varies. Okay. So you can see compute instance for everything. They have name. Okay. Memory instance not only for that one. Based on memory, memory is also. You see num for everything. Accelerator computer for graphics. CPU access. These are all for the game purpose. Okay, so everything is given. You can come to the instance. You will find uh, things which you want to get more performance. I am very clearly saying, if you are going to be get, you want your concern is about more performance. Be ready for uh, pay, giving payment. Okay, and any other uh, questions? Let me see the window. Uh, somebody they asked want uh, how feedback <laughs> yeah they want yeah. the youtube uh, session recorder uh, so yeah. i just suggested that it will be available in the uh, youtube even after the session is over many have asked yeah. j w e s is better uh, than uh, hadoop see uh, hadoop is, uh, is actually a technique uh, they are uh, incorporated in the amazon web server Uh, are the web services there are third party services uh, based on the, it is their agreement it is their agreement how they deal with you or you want to directly access with the hadoop uh, amazon has its own uh, aws something uh, what is that hadoop called uh, there is one different hadoop here aws hadoop for something okay so uh, it's based on their uh, agreement only they will offer if you want to go for different uh, um what do you call um, a provider of course uh, i'm not uh, saying that uh, there is manager emr there is a emr here okay emr is a hadoop offer by aws okay this and all we how do we go to measure mean uh, that's what i said instant type for example memory what is the capacity uh, cpu what is the number of cpu they provide and uh, number of uh, what do you call uh, instance provided and number of region supported uh and what other things uh, uh, payment and according to the payment maybe the same service for example i am getting 5 cp or sim 5 cp with uh, with the uh, 50 gb for example the same maybe with other cloud provider they are offering cheaper that is also there we have to compare okay so uh, it is all about comparison it it takes uh, deep study okay it is uh, i am not well versed really about all the technologies available in aws and all the technology i'm not compared something i try to compare something what i did today i even try to compare with other uh, provider but we cannot sure with what is hadoop uh, provided separately or aws provider uh, i don't have an experience it's all about the instant capacity that you have or that you own I think uh, I think uh, yeah. uh, some questions were there in the earlier. Shall I read it out, sir? Maybe yeah. whether you have. Uh, huh? It's enough. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. It it was like. Uh, can you compare how AWS is better than Hadoop? You have answered. Uh, I think. Yes. And the yeah, next yeah, is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The maximum size of an S3 bucket. Yeah, only 30 GB. Yeah, that's what you are explaining. Yeah. Okay. 
strategy given limitations also i think you have explained sir creation of s3 bucket s3 bucket limitations to create uh, limitations to create s3 s3 bucket it's basically allowed many but uh, i'm not able to remember maybe some uh, uh, this um, ec2 something somewhere they say five instances uh, some area i could find the um, um, uh, information for teams up to we can go and more than that we have to pay and uh, in uh, storage side uh, i'm not found any number of bucket it's almost allowed at gb within that you can have n number of bucket at gb yeah. is given you can have n number of bucket bucket and can have but all the bucket inclusive only 30 gb that's right okay and they have asked for how the services are used in the healthcare systems this healthcare system you know anything you want to record for example take healthcare um, <clears throat> you need a patient details you have a medicine detail you have doctor details all the details must be stored in the uh, database uh, area on oh, the database i already said uh, dynamo rds different four different uh, uh, in memory database uh, again using of database is different which database you are specialized are the suitable database to your organization for example take you want a uh, uh, no sql or you need a relational database or you need a in memory like uh, cache or uh, other thing like uh, what what other thing uh, you know there are so many model no so which database you want for a particular uh, organization it is up to the organization is based on the use case so without storing anything we cannot do so here we you know to go for a medical related what i shown is not sufficient you have to go for further with dynamo dynamo is free and uh, uh, lambda is supporting for java python as well as uh, node js uh, three functions uh, are supported i have one lambda here i can show you <coughs> So lambda again, you need a programming knowledge to work with. Yeah, I can show the many of them uh, have more interest on this one. Even I am not known about uh, Node JS. I am uh, particularly for any number of technology terms. I won't worry about that one. What is available in Java, I will look into that. That is my my mentality. and uh, what is there i just for tested only i checked it is supported by node js uh, let me show here uh, uh, there is a, this is a lambda function i prepared already to get the data and put the data okay uh, for example get the data where it is connected mean i have a, um, what i call dynamo db it's a <coughs> no sql database let me test it it will automatically come okay automatically shows the code also yeah so it is tested uh, with this code for example you see um i am having uh, i am connecting my zone um and then i am asking my data which you want the data yeah contact is the table name and the uh, other id i'm having 4321 is an uh, id let me go to dynamo db mm, here in the product i can get from the dynamo i have to go now let me go to the console i'm in mean, another window and no sql also will understand that's another issue what is no sql what is the uh, i have Say here, Dynamo. La, what is that, Dynamo? Think directly go and get to the data. Yeah, it's coming. It's late. Oh, it's just another one. Let me directly go to the uh, category. Then I will choose Maurice. That is the Dynamo DB Maurice. Okay. 
Okay, I will uh, start the table. It is ready, already running. Huh? Yeah, I have contact. This one I am talking about. I have the table here. <coughs> so another information to work with the uh, no noise skill. Okay, <laughs> this is someone asked about I am going somewhere else. <laughs> okay, uh, so when you are going to prepare, this is no noise skill setup. Okay, I will make you understand within a fraction of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are going to create a, you are having work with, uh, knowledge about work with the table just in your no sql you are going to have a table with the uh, primary key only and uh, it, you are going to have uh, unstructured data the, in normal database and all we will have structured uh, uh, table and no sql in a sense that the database structure is unstructured any field can be dynamically created okay i will go to the item what i have already You see here, I have um, I have here in the bottom, other ID is a field name. Okay, 4321, I say the column name. Final name, I say, first name, I say. D D A T I say, yep, name. So, these are all uh, randomly generated, okay? These are all randomly generated. This one I am trying to access. For example, I called in my Lambda function. The Lambda function, I said, contact is my table. Already the region, everything is configured, okay? This is Node.js. Uh, Node uh, I am not aware of that one. Only this function I just captured and I for testing purpose to connect with the DynamoDB and I could understand what is going on. Okay, the table name is connected and uh, uh, the other ID what is there uh, through the JSON only we are accessing. Okay, so uh, I have called the 4321 and uh, what is this? 4321 is uh, the, the data what I have is final uh, Bala. Bala Bala is there. It's uh, randomly created. Okay, uh, when I executed this one, it shows the result like this. Is the result was here. That's here. It shows the result here. You see, first name is Bala Bala, author ID is this. You see, item is read from the DynamoDB. This is serverless. We don't have any server, but though what we what is happened, Lambda function were communicated with the database and it produced the results. If you want to connect this data again to the um, what do you call it, uh, to the web, uh, website what we created to interact with the website, it will take another time. So in this way, we can prepare uh, um, anything for example i have another function i will also show you to put some value you will understand uh, so that we can so this is also since you are uh, interested i will go to another function if there is a put function put data i'll put something so that you will understand okay again this is node.js you can also use java uh, python or you can use uh, uh, the support with uh, what the uh, um, node.js Okay, is that? Okay, it says I'm going to add. This is for uh, putting the data, adding the data. Already it is executed. Might have overtaken this one. I will create one more. Today is a date I'm going to give 18 uh, 06, for example, uh, 2020. I'm entering the today date as an author ID and I'm going to say, um, okay, welcome something. This is uh, already I entered and tested this one already. If uh, some situation is there, I thought of showing. Okay, uh, uh, date. Okay, date is today. Date already uh, given. So today is uh, 18 June, for example. Uh, can say, for example, organizer. Okay. Okay, Dr. GM and I say here. Okay. Is the problem here? No problem. Okay, let me test. Save the code. Save the code. Then uh, yeah, double code. Yeah, have to put it in the double code for that. Uh, it says the error. They may be string data. Okay. Okay, I saved it. Maybe this data I'm expecting to store in the database. Uh, that means Dynama. Yeah, it is executed. It says. Yes, done. Okay, we'll go and check the data here. Um, I'm going to refresh it. Where is the refresh here? Yeah, there is a refresh here in the right corner. It's already too big window. I'll just minimize because some of them are hiding. Okay. What is the number? 18.6. 18.6. First name. I don't give any first name. I don't give any final name. Date I don't give. This and all I don't give. What I gave? I gave different things. I gave webinar. Welcome. Date is date. Organizer is German. Okay, so these are all the dynamic field. So it is unstructured data. 
So dealing with unstructured data is called no SQL. Okay. So this is a uh, record that I inserted. So which of if it is equal, if I am saying that uh, one field is final, final name, then the value will be here. If you are creating new name, then it goes added as a another column. Okay. So in this way, you can prepare your application in the medical field or any field. And uh, this should be again connected to user. Uh, you need a web application to interact with the user. No? Again, there is another step. This is why I said okay, I, I even shown some few things. Thank you very much. I hope you are satisfied. Yeah, I. Yeah, I think you all are satisfied. Like uh, yeah. it was very useful session. Thank you, sir. Again, once again, participants. Yes, I hope that you don't have more queries. Uh, we would like to wind up the session. He has shared his uh, uh, contact details. Maybe you can contact him and you can uh, grab the maximum knowledge which he has. He's a very knowledgeable person. Happy again. And now we would like to uh, leave end the session. Before that, we would like to have a vote of thanks uh, from Madam Annapurani of uh, our department. Anapurni, madam. Anapurni, madam, you can take your role now. Dr. C. V. Deepa, ma'am. Who has been an inspiration in bringing the international online wired web series and provided all the necessary help? Then, my thanks to our respectable HOD, Dr. GM Nasira, ma'am, Department of Computer Application, who has been a backbone of this wonderful webinar. I am very much delighted to thank our resource person, Dr. Bala Dandayadibani Ji, IT lecturer. College of Technology, Sultan and Top Oman, for finding time to give an excellent and interesting session on Amazon Web Services with EC2 on S3. Now, only we really understand what is AWS and what is EC2 and S3, and we learn about IAS. It is very useful to us, sir. Thank you, sir. And I would like to thank all associate professors, assistant professors, business scholars, students from various departments. Excuse me, would... Annapurni, madam. Excuse me, ma Annapurni, madam. Your video, I think, uh, your video is not visible. Am I right? Your video. Is it okay, ma'am? Can you? Can... Yeah, I don't know. Is it okay, ma'am? Getting your video now. One minute. Is it okay, ma'am? I yeah, now only we're getting the video. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay, thank you. I'm very much delighted to thank our resource person, Dr. Bala Dandaidubani B, IT lecturer, Sinas College of Technology, Sultanate of Oman, for finding time to give an excellent and interesting session on Amazon Web Series with EC2 and S3. Now only we really understand what is AWS and what is EC2 and S3. And also we learn about IAS. It is very useful to us, sir. Thank you, sir. I would like to thank all associate professors, assistant professors, business scholars, students from various departments. I would like to thank participants from various states, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Puducherry, Kerala, who have been who have participated in the web series and made this event grand success. Once again, I thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank okay, you, Dr. Bala. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma thank you, ma thank you very much. Let's end the session now. Let's <laughs> okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. 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 Thank you, ma'am.